Hospital crews, they left around 15, 20 minutes ago. They located the body around 745. We were able to get closer to show you what they were dealing with for much of the day. In the end, it took them about seven hours to locate the body of this buried worker. And from here, they say the investigation turns to whether trench protective systems were being used correctly. The potential depth and the amount of uh, of material. This is what made an already dangerous situation even more difficult for first responders. It's delicate because the ground is is not stable and so our uh, our rescuers obviously are, are being very careful. Careful around the shaky foundation and concerned about the sunlight that was eventually lost. Authorities say they received a 911 call about a trench collapse just before noon at the site on Southwest Hillside Drive. When they arrived it only took a few minutes to change the search from a rescue to a recovery mode. According to OSHA, which is leading the investigation, a worker was installing plumbing lines for homes under construction in a 10-foot deep trench when it collapsed. OSHA has six months to complete its investigation, issue citations, and propose monetary penalties if violations of safety procedures are found. And right now, the identity of the victim has not been released, but we're told the workers' company preferred plumbing is based out of Kingsville, Missouri. They have no previously known history with OSHA of any violations. Sharifa Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.